life. It's just, this was just a great conversation. I, I really like to do this again. Thank you for joining us. Can I flip it on you guys a little bit? Can oh, here we go. Yes. Here we go. Okay, so first, I want to know, like, how do you guys get started with your podcast? Like, what started this? What inspired oh, this? Oh, okay. Ooh. Lastly, what is your advice for men, women, children, whoever, who want to follow their passion or dream? Ooh, okay. Um, advice. Can I give a few pieces? For sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay, go. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we've already spoken or touched on it a bit, but the first one would be, um, I think you mentioned it actually, um, don't be afraid of failure. Um, failure is necessary. It's a part of life. I've failed countless times in my life and I'm sure I'll fail plenty more moving forward, but that's how you learn and that's how you grow and that's how you get better. So we all fail. The greats have failed. Don't be afraid of failure. That'd be the first one because I feel like that tends to hold us back. Mm -hmm. um, another big one that I had to learn and I'm still constantly learning is to go outside your comfort zone. Everything like in your zone is comfortable and like, it's safe, but all the things that you want, all your dreams, your passions, the great things that happen are always like that step outside of your comfort zone. So don't be afraid to go out there. Again, I know there's like a fair piece with that, but I promise you like every time you step outside that comfort zone, something great happens. Um, it might not always be pretty or smooth, but something great happens. You'll learn something, you'll get a new connection, you'll get to that next level. So go outside your comfort zone. And then the last one that we, we spoke on too was just dream big. Like don't put limits on your dreams. Um, dare to dream big. And then for me too, uh, my faith is important to me. So that also plays a role in a lot of my stuff. And I truly believe that um, God has big dreams for us or big things he'd like to do in our lives. And I believe that God is a great God of many miracles. I mean, if you are willing to believe in that and put yourself out there, God will meet you there and can do abundantly more than you could ever imagine. Because in my personal opinion, I grew up thinking I was going to be a little art teacher or history teacher, teaching my middle school kids, having a grand old time. And God has taken me on this whirlwind life that I would have never pictured for myself. Um, so to me, that just like, people might not think it's a big deal, but to me, I'm like, that to me shows like the, the greatness of God and like, what he can do with your life if you're willing to like take the steps believe and put yourself out there so those would be my three pieces i know that was a lot no it's great a lot is good a lot is good uh yeah on that note uh kayla alexander once again thank you for doing this let's let's do this again because this is uh the the more we can talk about uh, especially women in sports and basketball and the growth of it and everything else just talking about life it's just this is just a great conversation i, I really like to do this again thank you for joining us can I flip it on you guys a little bit? Can oh, here we go. Yes. Here we go. Okay, so first, I want to know, like, how do you guys get started with your podcast? Like, what started this? What inspired this? Oh, okay. Ooh, you want to start? You can start. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll chime in. Okay, so my first attempt at college, at uh, Durham College in Oshawa, is where I, I met this young man. And uh, we just, we bonded over hoop immediately, you know, and we just started talking and once I, I realized that we both had similar sense of humor and similar interests as far as as far as talking about basketball and then our interest in music and just everything else, we shared so many common interests and the things that we wanted to do creatively. Uh, it just started to make sense. And we talked about it for a few years. Uh, we did put this off for a while, but we talked about it for a few years like, hey, let's do a podcast or let's do a show. Let's let's put something together. And we just kept putting it off, just kept putting it off. And then finally, we we got a camera, we got a mic, and just started going. It was it was really that simple. And, and again, you know, we'll, we'll have people talk to us once in a while saying, you know, I want to do this, I want to do that. And this goes back to our conversation about just chasing something and not being afraid to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably what it was for us, too, is that we were just worried about, ah, we don't want to humiliate ourselves or we don't want to, you know, we know it's going to be a slow burn or whatever. But one day we're just like, you know what? bleep it let's let's go and uh so we just did and it's again it's just been growing ever since and we've we've built a little something with it and we got a lot more planned but yeah it's we just one day we just decided to do it and we've been doing it since yeah and for me I don't know if Mark and I don't know where Mark was at exactly but for me it was at a time when I did fail like a hundred yeah. times in a row and I was yeah. I had nothing else to lose so I was like what yeah why not like now's the perfect time ever like I started doing I started doing like everything that I wanted to do when I was at my lowest, I would say. 
And it was, it was weird how that worked, but it was just like, sometimes that's what it takes to push you to do those things that you always wanted to do. And I think we are headed in the right direction. We're doing something kind of our own way. And there's a lot more we want to do, not only in podcasting, but in, in television and stuff like that as well. So this is just the start and we're grateful. And my only thing is I wish I started this sooner. I, yeah, Mark's was, probably saying the same thing. Like Literally every time we do a podcast, every time we do anything, it's like, man, why didn't we just do this right away? It's just, I don't know how. Like sometimes you need to like take a little detour or like hit like rock bottom to finally like take the lead and like go for it. So mm-hmm. I'm glad it, that's working out for you guys. And like you said, it, you want to do like television? Like would you guys want to like have your own show? Or, like- um, we have scripts that we've written um, that I'm starting to ship out finally now. And some of them are just something you wouldn't expect, probably like comedic uh, drama type shows. Um, Some might be shows where where it's kind of like this, where we're hosting and doing something with that. So we have a lot of, a lot of ideas, but a lot of action required to fulfill those ideas and a lot of luck probably along the way as well. But people like yourself and your brother and musicians and stuff coming on here, um, actually helps us that much more because people can see, I guess, how serious we are and how relatable we are with everyone. So we appreciate you coming on. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll just double back on that, Kayla. The biggest thing is we want to show our versatility. Like we both feel like we're, you know, without sounding too humble, we're both talented guys. We both have a lot of creativity. We both have a lot of different things we feel like we can show people. And not just from our own side of things, but we want to have guests like yourself and all the other people that we've had and all the people will continue to have to show not just our interests, but interests that we share with other people that watch our stuff and to put spotlight on things that, that mean a lot to us in our lives, you know, like basketball, like sports, like, you know, music and culture. And, you know, we just want to show on top of what we do with our podcast, our versatility and what we want to do in film and in in TV and in writing. And we just want to show how many different things that we can do. Well, I'm going to be tuning in for the journey. I'm glad <laughs> I finally got to like connect with you guys like this. So I'll appreciate it. And I guess my last question, spinning it a bit. Yeah. Um, if you, let's say there's like a viewer, someone who's like, I see myself when I look at you guys or when I listen to your guys' podcast, like what would you tell them as your words of encouragement or advice? I feel sorry for that person if they feel like me. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the words of encouragement? If yeah, they, or advice. What do you mean? If they want to be like me? Yeah, who are like, I want, they, they are inspired by what you guys are doing. Like, uh, yeah, um, do you know? I only have, I really only have two points. Um, well, a couple, I guess. One, become self-aware first, right? Like, you got to be aware of you. And that took me a long time to, to realize. Two, you got to be fine with judgment or just don't care about it. You can't judge other people a lot. Thanks, and, yeah. and, uh, you can't care what they think of you. Cause that whole, that's for me, that's one of the number one things, like we said about the fear or whatever, that just comes from judgment. So dealing with judgment is, is huge. And once you're ready to answer any question that comes your way about anything, your deepest, darkest secrets or whatever, then you're ready to do whatever it is you want. In my opinion, like nothing's really going to stop you. Cause there's nothing like, if you're afraid of something coming out that you're hiding, it's probably going to come out and you're going to be destroyed. But if you just get it out there in the beginning or or, or are comfortable with it, nothing's really going to stop you. And then my second point is fall in love with the process more than anything. And then um, stay motivated at all costs for that, for that goal or whatever it is. Those two things helped me. I figured a long time ago, lose a bunch of weight when I was really overweight (laughs) So I just kind of developed those two points and then the, the kind of fall in love with the process thing and the stay motivated thing. And I find that helps me in a lot of other ways as well. A lot of like other areas of life. So those two things I come back to all the time. And it could be like watching a certain video every day or reading something or writing something every day that just kind of keeps you on track. Uh, for me, doing do touch a lot, a lot of the things that I feel the same way about, but uh, another couple things, again, goes back to the point we we're talking about, don't be afraid to be uncomfortable because uh, discomfort and stress and tough situations bring out the best in people. I, I really do feel that way. And it's, again, don't be afraid to be you. I, I would rather have 10 people that, that love us and follow us and stay with us 
because of who we are and what we do and what we believe in than have 10 million people follow us because we're just chasing Trendy. whatever trends Trendy, and just doing yeah. whatever the same things other people are doing and, and selling ourselves out. I, I just, I, I want to be loved for being us. And that's a big thing for me. And again, just whatever it is, it, it sounds like a simple message, but it, it carries a lot of substance. Whatever it is, just go. Just figure out a way to do it immediately and run with it. And don't, don't sell yourself short or shy away from it. Just go. So. That's good. That's it. Hey. <laughs> um, but on behalf of the Breast Group Podcast and my co-host, Mark, I want to thank you for coming on the podcast. Incredible talent, author, writer, artist, hooper. What else? There's probably tons of other things I don't oh, know. Oh, where can, where can you find the book? Let us know yeah, where please. we can find the book. Promote okay. the book. Yeah. Um, the Magic of Basketball, you can get it on Amazon or you can go to my website, Kayla Alexander, all one word, dot net. Right there. Right there. Click the link. Beautiful. Check All right. Out. Again, Kayla, thank you so much. Let's let's do this again. And uh just great talking with you. Thank you for joining us. Absolute pleasure. Y'all have a good one. You too. All right. Take care. Take care, Kayla. See ya. <laughs>